Hi everyone, this is Bea from Responsive Muse. In this video, I'm going to show you a tool that I think is going to be really helpful for you because it's going to save lots of time. Um, not only for web designers or developers, but also I think for anybody who works with images as you can create different actions and like I do, I'm going to resize uh, multiple images in, in a really short time. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, not only resize, we can do other actions too, but I kind of use it more just for resizing um, because it is really, really, really fast. So um, go to XNView and download this tool. It's for free. So once you download, open it and this is what you will see. No, sorry. First, I'm going to show you what I'm going to as an example. I've created a folder here called Pics. And here I have a lot of pictures downloaded from collection in Unsplash. So I think that I have 40 items. And let's see. Get some info here. And the size is... 104 megabytes so that it's very heavy and these pictures if you want to upload them to a website they are very very heavy so you need to optimize them as you can see this first picture is three megabytes that's very heavy 4.4 3.1 so i'm going to resize these images resize these batch images okay so this is xn view as you can see this is my folder over here so um i recommend you um getting all the files that you want to do with the same actions inside the same folder because it's going to be faster you can add them individually but i think it's faster to keep them all in a folder so these are the original pictures as you see here and I'm going to create a new folder where all the, sorry, where all the resize photos will show up. As you, as you can see here, it's been synchronized. So this is the original folder. And you can right click and go to batch convert or else you can go up here to the menu and tools batch convert is the same thing. Okay, so we have different tabs here, but first let's go to input. Here in input is where you can add the folders or add the files. If you've skipped the first step, right clicking and bat convert. So right now, this is these are all the pictures from Unsplash, from Unsplash collections that I'm going to resize. Um, then once this is done, I'm moving to actions tab. And here is where the magic happens. So what we have to do is add action. And as you can see here, we have, if you select image, you can add a mass, automatic crop, um, change color, resize, rotate, watermark. So what I'm gonna do is I'm doing something simple and just gonna resize it. But as you can see, you have many more actions. Also, as you can see here, if you go to map, filter, and here you have a whole bunch of different things. So, image and resize. This will be my action. We have some presets here. Um, we have different inches, different sizes, and percentage too. You can select the mode to fit, fill. Depends on what you're looking for. Um, set your own width and height and choose if these values are pixels, inches, percent, or centimeters, millimeters. And you have different options here. So as I said before, what I'm going to do is I'm going to batch uh, resize these images. And in my it's, they're going to be for a website. So they have to be pretty light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down quite a lot. So I'm going to select the preset. So it will bring it to 25%. It will reduce it until 25%, uh, uh, the width and the height. And now when you're done selecting here, also you can add more actions, but I'm just going to leave it here, just resize. 
and then we're going to output so here is where I'm going to select the folder which is in my desktop called resize so I want all the resize pictures to show up here then click on open and we're done so as you can see it would only take um, less than a minute to resize 40 images so you can actually also do it if um, just imagine you have 200 pictures it's pretty handy when a client gives you a website and has a, a folder with a, a whole bunch of images and it's really really heavy so instead of doing it one by one use X and view it's pretty fast and really really handy okay so it's done it took around one minute so I'm going to close this just to compare I'm going to open this folder let's check the first picture and open the resize folder so these same pictures before in the original in the original folder uh, the size was three megabytes and now the size as you can see here it's much lighter and as a whole let's get some info about this folder so you see get info this first folder the size was 104 megabytes and this second folder once resize as you can see here is 5.4 Hope you guys like this tutorial and if you don't want to miss any of Responsive Muse's videos with tips and tools and really cool stuff and courses, then remember to subscribe and also click on the icon bell that's near it so you will get notified. Thank you guys for watching.